Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see loop controls. So what are the loop controls and how to achieve it? So normally when we write a program, sometimes uh, the programmer we make a mistake and our code during execution goes through the infinite loop. Or there may be some business cases where our code might go into the infinite loop or the it might be in a continuous running case so how can we control that or how can we achieve the more control environment in our code every language has their own aspect about it and the same case with unix so unix uses two statements first is break statement and second is continuous statement loop statement control uh, loop control statements are two types one is break and continue you might have seen these kind of statements in language java c++ or c or even .net also so on the same line unix also work in finite loop a, a loop that executes forever without terminating executes for an infinite number of times so if you see this example here uh, we have defined its library uh, that has been sh then we are defined one variable variable 10 then we are running this using until variable less than 5 so if you see the value is 10 but we are comparing less than 5 then do echo variable uh, variable 1 then increase variable 1 by 1 so that is using expression and then done so that means this is going to continuously run because this uh, condition will not satisfy so that's the reason it will continuously run into loop if you are like if you would like to see the example in execution manner i have created the same example that is infinite again we have defined variable one with the value 10 we are checking variable 1 is less than 5 then 2 echo variable 1 and increase the value by 1 if you run this example by using sh infinite sh this will continuously run and it will not stop because it is just continuously increasing its value by 1 and it is echoing it in order to stop i'm going to use control c so that is means this loop is infinite we need to control this how can we control in order to control that we have to use either break or continuous continue as a statement at appropriate location the break statement let's see what is usage of break statement break statement is used to terminate the execution of entire loop after completing execution of all of the line of code up to the break statement Suppose if you line, if you wrote 10 lines and then you wrote break statement after that you wrote 20 lines, code will still get executed till the break statement. And once the break statement is reached, the code will exit. So here is the example. We have defined a variable 1 with value 0 while variable less than 20 do echo variable 1. If variable 1 equal to 10, then break if if is ended here then we are increasing variable by value one so if you want to see what is the output so by our expectation is even we are defining the while condition with less than 20 but we are breaking after checking the equal to as a 10 that means this program should print 1 to 10 values and after that the code should exit out so that is our expectation the same thing we have written in our code so let me show you that and the code is break statement if you see so we have defined variable 1 what are the code we have just saw in powerpoint presentation the same code we have here variable 1 with a 0 value we are checking the condition less than 20 
and at the variable 1 equal to 10 we are breaking it and then we are increasing the value so let's see how it looks during execution so if you see the values are printed 0 to 10 and after that control goes out of the code and it is not increasing the value rather than it is just stopping at 10 it's not printing 11 or anything up to 10 so that is the use of break statement then what is the use of continuous statement so this is another example of break statement in nested loop if you have the loop within loop how can we how break will how break statement will work for example we have the for loop with variable contains value 1 2 3 then inside that we have the do and then we have another loop for loop that is for variable 2 in 0 and 5 and then we are performing some execution if variable 1 equal to 2 and variable 2 equal equal to 0 then break else echo variable 1 variable 2 and so it is like we are using uh, two loops one inside another and inside that we are checking the condition if you want to see the output of this example let's go back and if you want to see the code we have the sa same code what we just saw the same code uh, with the um, variable 1 to 9 uh, okay not this one it's a continue so we are going to use nested so if you see variable 1 in 1 to 3 variable 2 is 0 to 5 then we are checking variable 1 equal to 2 variable 2 equal to 0 then break and then print this variable 1 and variable 2 so let me go let me go ahead and execute this program and if you say it is printing one zero and one five so that meant uh, the code is working fine it's breaking correctly so it, it is this loop is going to execute until these values are reaching so that means until it reaches to two and until it reaches to five so that is the reason it is printing one two and zero five uh, uh, one uh, it is printing one zero and one five that's correct so this is the very straightforward break how it works it 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 execute the inside loop and then and then it goes to outside continuous statement what is the use of continuous statement if you in your program uh, after checking condition if you still want to continue to the next line or next uh, next execution then you can use the continuous statement it causes the current iteration of loop to exit rather than entire loop so here for example in the variable we are storing 1 to 9 values for number in variable that means it will be going to iterate one at a time do uh, we are defining variable q expression number high divided by 2 if this number what is the q we are defined equal to 0 then we are going to print number is even else we are going to print number is odd or we found odd numbers so it is like checking a1 or odd numbers by using divide by 2 so this is the kind of uh, we are doing here we are continuing if you see we are using continue as a statement to continue and print this if it is number is odd or even so the same thing we have written our code if you want to see that Let me clear it if you want to see vi continue let me just copy it right click copy right click paste the same code the variable is defined with 10 9 values and we are checking with uh, by dividing 0 if it is equal to 0 uh, by dividing 2 if it is equal to 0 then it's a human otherwise it's a odd by using continuous statement let's execute and see what it is going to print so 
so if you see the first we are defining a vari uh, variable with value 1 so the first is odd number then we are 2 so it is even number then 3 odd number then 4 even number and so on so these are the ways by which we can use the break and continue statement so these are the control statements used in uh, unix i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to use the control statement while performing unix operation thank you again for watching my video if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you have a great time